what is going on guys stormcat back with another video in this video we are doing another terraria tutorial and i'm going to show you guys a completely afk chlorophyte farm uh now a whole bunch of people have been requesting it and i actually thought i made the video already but i do have the thumbnail done uh but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how to afk farm chlorophyte in terraria 1.3 so First, I'm going to build the farm, then I'm going to wait a few in-game days and prove to you guys that it works. Um, so, what I'm going to do is go all the way down to the cavern layer and show you guys how to build the farm. Before I get ahead of myself, I did a little bit more research, and it turns out you only have to defeat the three mechanical bosses before Plantera in order to do this farm. So it will grow in hard mode. All you need to do is defeat the Wall of Flesh if you already have Chlorophyte. But in order to get Chlorophyte, you will have to defeat the three mechanical bosses. So you don't actually have to defeat Plantera to do this. Three mechanical bosses is minimum before you can mine it. If you already have it lying around, just be in hard mode. Alright guys, so I just realized one thing. Uh, one more thing to note before you actually build your farm is it cannot be in a corruption or crimson biome because it will change your mud blocks to dirt. So what I'm going to do is actually go to the underworld and build it there. There's going to be plenty of free space, plenty of room, and I'm not going to have to worry about the corruption changing it to dirt. So now that we are in the underworld, what I'm going to do, since we already have a huge hollowed out area, I'm just going to make a little bridge for us to use. Now that we have our little platform made out, what we're going to do is actually start building the farm. Now, when you start this, what you're going to want to do is mine a few pieces of chlorophyte, or a lot if you come by a lot, but you're only going to need one piece per farm. So, what we're going to do is make 5x5 five five blocks of mud in the underworld, and then we're going to place a piece of chlorophyte in the middle. After that, all you have to do is wait and let it grow. Alright guys, so this is what your farm should look like when you are done building it. You do want to space them out because if you do not, it will actually stunt the growth of the chlorophyte. Because chlorophyte cannot be too abundant, too close to itself. So you can't have huge groups right next to each other. So what you're going to want to do is make 5x5 five five squares of mud and in the center put chlorophyte. And spacing them out like this should do you just fine. You can just go on your whole bridge that you fought the wall of flesh with and fill these in and you will have so much chlorophyte for that armor, chlorophyte bullets, chlorophyte arrows, stuff like that. So now that we have the farm build, what I'm going to do is go to the top of the world and wait a few days and we will come back when this has grown. Alright guys, we are back with the second part of the video. I have let my game sit for a few days. It's maybe been 15-20 minutes. And you can see here that we actually have a lot of chlorophyte growth. Now, if, I, if you take anything away from this video, take away that you need to mine it as soon as you come check it and it grows. Even if it's just one piece because there is a max limit that chlorophyte can grow to and if you do not clear out the chlorophyte and replace it with more mud it will hit a limit and it will stop growing so make sure you come and you harvest it every once in a while but as you can see i didn't just cut out me placing chlorophyte in there i actually just let it sit here and grow and you can see we got three pieces over here two pieces here three pieces here and a whole bunch of pieces here and then one so we actually didn't get any growth over here but that's fine you know some of it takes longer 
but you can obviously see that this works pretty well. I wasn't waiting that long and the chlorophyte grew pretty fast. So let me know how this farm works out for you down in the comments. If you have any modifications that might make it better, uh, definitely leave them down below too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this farm video on how to AFK farm chlorophyte and I will see you guys in the next video.